up best friends and welcome back to our channel man today we got a story time for you it's getting kind of late you know <clears throat> it's coming to the end of our little party a little quarantine party you know what i'm saying so you know she just messed up my face and uh, it fixed it back but you know what I'm struggling because I really need to find someone who do lashes. Like, bad. If y'all know somebody, hit me up on my Instagram. DM me if you do lashes. I really, really need help. I think I did a good job on her, on her makeup. And she's just jealous because she didn't do as good as I did. Rewind. Let me remind y'all. Exactly. Y'all remember Come on now, my eyes was look. I looked at like the damn blue clown. I had primer, foundation, for uh, eyeshadow, lipstick, and eyebrows. You only had foundation, little bit concealer. You didn't get no eyebrows. I had concealer, foundation, goddamn, eyeshadow, lipstick, eyeshadow, and that was it. Where's our I had the eye, she had the eyebrow pencil, she had the concealer, the foundation, the primer, the lipstick, the eyeshadow. You see how this goes on? It don't matter with all of that. She had a little bit of stuff and she made me look like a fucking clown. You had a lot of stuff and I didn't look like a I had a lot queen. of stuff and she didn't look like no shit. Yes, didn't. I did. I'm like a drag queen. Stop lying. Best friends, leave down below in the comment section who did the worst of y'all. Anyway, ISIS. Anyways, listen to me. This is a story time about the time when we got locked up. The time when I got locked up because I got locked up a total of three times in my life. Twice. Jeez. I've been locked up twice. I've been arrested plenty of times and handcuffed, but I've been like locked up behind bars two times. I served time once and I only was in for a whole month. And it felt like a damn year. So we basically going to tell our story. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And share this video. Also, we got some strict, strict instructions for y'all at the end of this video. You know what? Scrap that. I'm going to save that for another video. Okay? Don't forget, we're doing the giveaway, so stay posted. You won't like this video. I can tell you this much. We're doing a, mind you, we got five lucky winners. Five. We're doing a. We're doing a $20 Amazon gift card. A $10 McDonald's gift card. A $20 Dollar Tree gift card. Uh, don't act like y'all don't fuck with the Dollar Tree. Y'all be fake here. The ten dollars family dollar since you people want to be bougie family dollar gift card <laughs> twenty dollar Walmart card Bobby bro yes and that's the five lucky winners then we have this one I just added see I always do this to her <laughs> we have a super winner super winner is if you bang what we the instructions that we need you to do. You know $50 what? gift card. Walmart or Amazon. I haven't figured it out yet. You know what? I'm getting real tired. We planned the things in the beginning of the camera and everything. And you still managed to find a way to try to slip something in without my acknowledgement. And I'm tired of it. That's because I want our best friends to see that, hey, we don't be, like, we don't, we, we talk about it, but literally we be winging this stuff. Like, we trying to get way more organized. Like, we will get there. But for right now, I'm just having fun. I don't want this to ever feel like a burden, a job, or nothing. Like, I'm not going to ever, like, make it feel like it's weight on my shoulder. No. That's it. I'm not trying to do that. The point That's was, the point of it. Right. The point was to not have weight on our shoulder. Mm -hmm. We be our own boss. We could just show the world who we really are because we feel like we're bomb lit we people. Are. We are. And we want to share with the world. 
that's why we gonna start vlogging because best friends y'all have no idea how lit we really are most of the time y'all see us we do challenges or we're sitting down take right. a walk with us and now like hmm. i'm telling y'all it's crazy because my daughter drives me insane Oh, and I wanted to apologize about uh, the way my face looked it in the um, video we did earlier. My face was really, really, really swollen. Like, I don't know if it was a allergic reaction or if it was because of this injury, but it was swollen. But as y'all can see, the swelling is going down, like, tremendously. My nose is going down tremendously. And that's no, I don't have no makeup on. I just got on lipstick. That's it. That's because of, of the lipstick I put on her nose. It helped with the swelling. <laughs> I did, I did that, y'all. I'm a nurse. I'm a cosmetologist and a nurse. I never wanted to tell you guys this, but the cat talk bad. <laughs> Can you put this back in my ear? Help me. I have. I want to feel like I want to take the whole trip on that. Anyways, let's get to this video. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go first, or Shalera go first. You know, I should call you handyman because you ain't got one. Well handyman. Wow, I can't be handy me me. Handy me me. Handy ices. Why? I'm just saying. I. Do your story got a lot of detail? Not really, per se. I'm gonna let you go first. I have a lot of details. Uh -huh. I have a bunch of details. Go. Ah, you missed your whole mouth. No, I didn't. I said, I said. Sorry to show y'all, but I just wanted to prove it. All right, come on, let's go. Okay. The time I got locked up, I was in foster care. I had to have been like, around 17, and maybe I just turned 18. I was like a fresh 18. And there was these kids that stayed with us. And one particular kid was very annoying. I'm going to call him Tally. Tally? Yeah. Tally was annoying. Tally was annoying. So, Tally and Jill and Brianna was downstairs in the basement. And in the basement, it's like a common area. And then it's like a, a, bath, um, a, like a bathroom. Then they got like a laundry room. And I was in the laundry room doing my laundry. Uh huh. It was dark. They had turned the light off because all everybody was downstairs playing, and all the staff members were upstairs. Right. So who turned the light off? I think it was Brianna. I think it was Brianna because she was a little promiscuous. Hmm. Yeah. And she was trying to do it to Jeff. Right. Group home drama. <laughs> but um. They all were chilling down there and everything. And I think they're playing like hide and seek or something. Mm -hmm. So then all of a sudden, I, I'm irritated about something. I cannot remember what I'm irritated about. I think it was because I wanted a bagel. And they tried to play with me and said I didn't have a bagel. And it made me very upset. So, I was like, okay, cool. I'm down there doing the laundry. The next thing you know, I hear like a loud screech. Like, if you heard, if you would have heard this screech, it would have irritated your inner soul. Like, now you got a soul, the soul inside your soul would have been irritated. Mm -hmm. So I ran out there and I'm like, what the F is going on? Da 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 da. Who is that? Da, 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 da. And they were like, your brother. They were, everybody was like, it's Felton. Mm. My brother. And he was on the floor and he was grabbing his back. Now, me being so angry, I wasn't paying attention to the fact of him being hurt or anything like that. I wasn't really recollecting that. So I yoked him up off the floor and I threw him onto the couch. And I was like, what the F is going on? Is that a third? Why did you yoke him up? Um, because everybody kept trying to hover around him and I wanted everybody to get away from him. Mm -hmm. And it made me mad. So it was like, bro, like y'all not listening to me. I said, sister, I'm going to yoke his ass up. It's my brother. Mm -hmm. I just told y'all get out of his face. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, what's going on? Who did it? This, that, and the third. And everybody was like, oh, Tally did it, Tally did it, Tally. And then Tally was over there in the corner and was like, he shouldn't have been standing in front of me. Mm. What? So I just politely went over to him. 
and I hit him in the face. So Tommy is a dude. Tommy is a dude. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude. I hit Sally in the face, and then I got him on the ground. I got him on the ground. I got. I was able to get my hands around his neck. Mind you, Sally is light. Like I'm talking like Steph Curry light. Like he's light like that. Oh, he a red ball light. I like, thought you said like he little like tossable light. He he is tossable, but as far as his complexion, he's light right oh, there. Oh, so he light light. light. He, he light and light. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. I put my hand around his neck. Mm-hmm. He like, first he was turning red. Uh-huh. Yeah, everything, as he was turning red, I felt myself getting so angry to the point it became a numb feeling. Uh-huh. Like it was like a, it was like a, it was like, you know how the sunset and the, and the clouds be in the sky? And then everything just looked extra warm and frothy. Oh, wait a minute. Like this, like a um, horizon. Yeah. Yeah. Like everything looks like if you go in the clouds, you're going to go into a cloud of warm coziness. Hmm. That's how I felt with my hands around his neck. So I was like, Damn. and he started turning like a little purple. And I was like, I wonder if I go just a tad bit tighter when he turned blue. So his new name is Purple Tiger. <laughs> Light I, thought, I thought he was going to turn blue. I wanted to see him turn blue. But then I got restrained by staff members. There was three of them. And they had, like, you know, pin me down. And I was like, in a rage then. And I was, mm. I, was, I was I was over it. I was swinging on them. And they put me, they got me coming up and sticking my ass into the damn car, the cop car. And then I started kicking the cop car. And that's when I said, if I kick it one more time. Oh, like Shorty did on, uh... Uh, Florida Bama Yeah, Bama Shorty. Florida Bama Shorty. Kind of, yeah. But in my mind, mine didn't crack. It didn't mm-hmm. break. Which means that they have a little bit more strong stuff out here than they have in St. Pete County. Or you didn't have more stilettos. I was barefooted. <laughs> I was barefooted. Yeah, your big ass feet should have broke that one. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't think you know. I got these big old stompers. But it didn't break. They said if I kick it one more time, he was going to take me to the detention center. And mm-hmm. I kicked it three, four more times. I was just angry. So they took me all the way to this place called Arrow. It's on top of this hill. Wasn't nothing there. Not a store. Not a, a, a farmer. Not even a damn goat. Oh, so you went out there with Courage the Cowardly Dog. <laughs> I was scared. Like, if you wanted the AWOL from there, good luck. I'm too big to AWOL. Hold on. Let me tell my son something real quick. So, did that happen? It will happen. No. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. It will happen. might happen again. <laughs> like, no. Go ahead. But, yeah, it's trying to do for assault because I'm all 18 how old was Tally? Tally was like 15, 16. Wow. Yeah. He wasn't that, you know what I'm saying? I was the only 18 year old in my group home. That's why. If I'm 18 and it's a 16 year old boy, that that's even. And I'm a girl. <laughs> that's right. even. And my brother, he was going to wear, I want to say 11. <clears throat> I just told him we all got to the way. I got to wait four days for my birthday. He got to wait two days for his birthday. And I was 17. That's another story. Not to about it. The only way to get over shit is to talk about it. Right, best friends? Don't be trying to agree with her because y'all want to hear my personal business. Tell them we need to know your personal business. We your best friends. This either you open up to us. Oh, don't, don't stop calling us your best friend. Say, hey, what's up, associates? Welcome back to our channel. <laughs> you hear me? But they're best friends, so. But yeah, basically what happened in my experience, you know, I got released a couple days later, bought a fish. It was magical. I named it Elijah. So she just get out and buy fishes. <laughs> Cause I had to work hard in that little detention center to get back on level four at home in that place. Okay, best friends, write down below in the comment section 
Any questions? Any questions you got about the story? We are more than willing to answer them on Instagram. Actually, tell us your story. We want to know what happened to you. Did you have you ever been arrested? Have you ever been close? You know, or are you one of the people that just do shit and don't get caught? You know what I'm saying? Or are you a saint? There's some of you guys out there. It could be. You know, I don't know if my best friends, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, if you sit through our best friends, I bet you will find at least two that are saints. Two. That one Unless of you. the most high and your high with shy is our best friends. <laughs> them is the two. No, it's, it's probably that one thing that's like, bro, I just need that help, that extra hmm. push to step out there. And, and I'll be the one that push their ass over the edge. Ain't that right? <laughs> Let's get it. To... <laughs> I can't do you my can't blocks. You can't be regular today. ISIS. I can't be ISIS. I gotta be Mimi. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into this story about how I got locked up. Like I told y'all. But this was one of the times I got locked up for nothing, basically. She was there, but she was here and there. So this took place. Ah, I got to change stuff. I'm going to say it took place in Alabama. I ain't going to say where it happened at. I'm not going to say no names. I probably won't remember the names if I change the name. So I'm going to try my best to work with me. So in Alabama, it started off, it was an amazing day outside, everything was, the birds was chirping, I went to, um, I went to this restaurant or whatever, got me a drink, ate real good with the hubby. This was before he was my husband, we was engaged. So we chilling, by the time the night come, you know, I could feed the kids, play with the kids, put them to sleep, Nighttime, yeah, it's time to turn up. So we all get together and we decide to play spades. I love spades. I really do. Like, I love having fun. I like getting together with people and chilling. Was I playing? Yes. No, you sure? Yeah. Did I do my whole, oh my gosh, I don't know how to play. Yes. Sounds like me. As you always do. Or whatever. So, um, we just we just getting back. You know what I'm saying? We just getting back. We was losing. You know? And I'm like, all right, let me put my head in the game. So, we just start busting eggs. Somebody walked through the door that I haven't seen since I was a little girl. He used to hang with one of my brothers. He bust in the door, you know what I'm saying? He was like, hey, what's up? I ain't seen you since you was little. And I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my. All oh, extra. I oh, love whatever. that feeling. <laughs> you know what I'm you saying? You know the feeling when you finally haven't seen somebody in a long time. You're like, oh, my God. Hey, where you been at, my God? Hey. No, you got not seen him for a long time. That is my mother, Godson. He's light years older than me. You know what I mean? He was out of school when I was like eight. You know what I'm saying? That's like your god so, uncle. Yeah. <laughs> my god uncle. So, my god husband, uncle. this was when he was real temperamental. You know what I mean? Like he was off the chain. So, my husband was like, don't say nothing to my girl. This, that, and the third. So he was like, man, that's like, that's my little sister. Fuck you talk about, nigga. I don't know what you talk about, nigga. Who is you? Da, 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 da. He was like, I'm her fiance. This, that, and the third. So they're arguing back and forth. What was your first, it like, thought? Like, those first couple seconds to him, he was like, don't say hi to my girl. Like, what was the first feeling that you felt? I was like, oh, my God. Not this again. Did your body get hot? No. I automatically... Got in defense mode because with him you don't have time to be shocked. <laughs> you know, you and you know you don't have time to be shocked with him. No, you don't. It's so, either, you know you act on or act off. Yes. So I was like in defense mode. I was like, okay, how can I deal? So I was like, you need to calm down. This, that, and the third. I finally got my nigga to calm down. This nigga. God brother, me. right? God uncle. God uncle. He was like, you got me bent, nigga. You don't know who I am. I do this, that, and the third, and this, that, and the third. So I'm not going to tell my husband's story, but something happened with those certain threats you can't play with at all. Like, 
Anything that got to do with a blade, you can't play with when it comes to my husband. You can't you can't even play with the thought of playing with him like that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Homie, don't play that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, then he was like, what, nigga? Boom. So, I'm thinking it's a game because I'm like, yeah, ain't no way in hell no, this dude about to pull out an 18-inch machete. Like, where is that? Because <laughs> I'm looking at him. I like you. Know, this he motherfucker just pocket. pulled one out the blue. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? So he go the fuck off. He's like, yeah, what's up? Boom. So what I do, I get in between them because first of all, he was mad. He was like, you shouldn't have been in the way. It was nigga stuff. First of all, ain't nobody tell your drunk ass to get mad about that situation. Which he felt really, really fucking crazy about two days later when he realized this was really fucking family, you know? And when he realized who his sister was and all of that, he was like, oh, man. Like, And then they wind up being straight. But yeah, so I hurry up and I was like, I don't care about none of that getting a nigga shit. I don't want my husband to get fucking stabbed because all of this he doing, but at the, all this you doing don't equate that fucking 18 inch machete that's being swung at your ass. You get what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. And I'm like, yeah, I know you willing to fight, but that y'all might fucking slice one of your fucking fists off. Then what you gonna swing with? Numbs? The fuck you gonna do? Like, you know what I'm saying? You like this. So I go, boom. I hit him with the butt. I say, bing. I bing him back with my butt. And I was like, boom. Push the other dude and close the door. So now I got the door barricaded against him. You're so gonna then. get you out of a lot of situations. And get me into a lot of situations. It's your butt. It's like it's just. trouble. <laughs> You know the robot movie with the big with the big butt robot? What? With the big ass trunk. I gotta show you that robot movie. Her boob her booty big. Like she got a big old trunk. She like Can you watch my trunk and a little beep was coming. We gotta on. get that. We it's gotta so find that. It's so yeah. So this is when shit get real. Boom. Everybody realized that the spade game was the fuck over with and shit was getting real. So I'ma call him Blade. No, that, that should have been Uncle Ugh. I'm going to call him Lionel. So, early in the day, I told Lionel to hold my cigarettes, right? Because everybody kept asking me for one. You know how you having fun with your family. Everybody get to drinking. Don't nobody buy a fucking pack. And they keep asking your ass for one. So, I was like, hold this. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep getting. Give me one every time I ask. That was me and, uh, me and Chuck playing. So, we didn't have to keep telling people no. Or whatever. We just like now. Nah, we just got this single type shit. So yeah, once the shit got real, everybody was like, "All right, it's time to go." Somebody called the police. Dun 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 dun. If it isn't more, if so, it's not enough, like with everything going on, the police all it was gonna do was just add more fuel to the fire. Did they? They did the most. Let me tell you something. If somebody called because of a disturbance or something, when the fuck have you ever seen 20 motherfucking cops out there for a disturbance? 20 cops. I lie not. And not one of them was a female. And it was only one black cop. The rest of them was all pure D white. You understand? Where I'm coming from. So, after he left, he finally, I finally get him to go wherever he was going. I go find, what's his name again? Lionel. I go find Lionel. I'm like, my cigarettes. I wave him down. My cigarettes, my cigarettes. And he said, oh, my bad. You know what I'm saying? He went in his back pocket to give me my cigarettes. The police was like, hey, hey, ma'am, come here. And I was like, no. I kept on walking. He was like, come here, come here. I said, no, I'm not coming here for what? I don't know nothing, nothing. So I kept walking. He was to say, oh, so you ignoring me? You have to talk to me. I said, I don't have to talk to you, nothing. Am I under arrest? Right. And he was like, you're not under arrest, but you need to talk to me. By that time, uh, he didn't got made it out the house. They slammed me against the damn gate. And they was like, I'm going to search you. I said, for what? For what? He said, we got to disturb and They were so deep. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm looking at them. So I start, I start, I'm like, damn, I'm about to go to jail. I said, you are not allowed to search me. Go get a female cop to search me. You can't search me, period. No, I'm saying no. Mind you, I had on some black leggings, no shoes on my feet, and a spaghetti striped shirt. Striped shirt. What the fuck could I possibly have on me? Period. 
not a thing. Nothing. You know what? You probably had an AK-47 hiding in your pocket. I mean, shit. Um, um, Uncle God, brother. God, <laughs> God, Uncle had a fucking 18 inch machete that came out of no motherfucking where. <laughs> but he was big. Shit, so he me. Was, he, he was like, you know, like, height wise. Height so wise. He, he can be able to hide a motherfucking sword in his back. You are a bite sized snicker bar. <laughs> and they think that you have a whole. Mimi. I just, I mean, too many name changes. <laughs> Go ahead. Like, if you're, you're a bite sized Snickers, and for them to sit there and think that you got something on you, and you ain't got no clothes on, like, literally nothing on. Like, literally, she's she's naked. She has on leggings and a tank top. No pants, no shoes. What's crazy? No socks. What's crazy to me is I turn around and I look for Leroy or Lionel. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, where the hell is he at? He got the fuck. You hear me? Got the fuck. So he was like, why are you out here? You're the one that's disturbing the peace, this, that, and that. I said, no. He said, then why are you out here? I was like, I'm, I went to get the cigarettes from my... And he was nowhere. So I looked at like a... You know what I'm saying? Complete liar. <laughs> I'm turned the fuck up, too. I'm turned up. So then I'm like, damn. I said, okay, I'm still trying to go in the house. Like, these motherfuckers pin me up. They locking me up and shit. Oh, hell no. My nigga went off. He was like, nah, get the fuck off of her. She been... Da, 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 stuff happened to her. She, You can't do that. He going off. I'm like, dude, I'm already under arrest. Somebody got to be in here with these kids. So it's my... It's over for me. So the black big ass cop come over there. He was like, come on. I'm taking you in. I looked at him. I said, all right, let's go. <laughs> like let's go. I don't want to fight with you, dude. No. So... They put me in a cop car, and I rode home, rode to the, the long-ass ride to the station, just crying, like, what, what did have I, I do? done? Like, why am I under arrest, this, that, and the third? So I'm, like, thinking it's nothing. Bow. I'm thinking it's nothing. I'm going to pause my story for a second, because I got questions. What happened to you while you was in there for a couple of days? That's a long those bitches are trifling. Hmm. Once all trifling, I first of all I went to the bathroom, right? I tried to use the toilet. There was a tampon. Tampon. So I was sitting on the toilet. Just like that. Right? But it's gross. That's trifling as hell. So it's like I'm trifling. Ooh. My roommate was a lesbian and she had a girlfriend that was a couple doors down from her again the staff members do not watch these kids properly in the state of Alabama oh you want Alabama too <laughs> well, I mean when, yeah Alabama in the state of Alabama they do not watch their kids mm -hmm. and um they this girl snuck I'm talking about she snuck I'm talking like the military call the floor to my room to come and get some from her girlfriend in the morning was just so <sighs> 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 it was really gross then they had us do recreation time which they had us go to a pool and they had was able to uh was able Paul. to Wherever she was locked up, eh, I'm trying to tell you they had a pool. Because it was um, it was like a a connection to main campus. Mm. If you it, it's so basically when when we're off campus, mm. they send they they send us to a detention center. Mm. Then when you get ready to get out of the detention center, they put you on main campus, which is supposed to be like a fake little halfway house before you go back to your mm. actual like home. a transitioner. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we had the little recreation thing, and then it was a pool, and that's when they was able to merge the guys and the girls together. That's when everybody could be able to go to the pool because it was a free area to do that. Mm. And I'm talking about these mother because was fucking in the pool. I was like, I don't want to swim here. Damn, you I had to hear some well and elephant moaning. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> right? <laughs> They're trifling. <laughs> 
they're trifling, they're loud. You have some girls who just didn't want to go to sleep, so they was up cussing the, the staff members out, just being loud and belligerent. It was like, bro, if you don't shut up, I'm going to hurt you. I'm trying to go to sleep. I don't want to be here just as much as you don't want to be here, but I'm going to sleep my days away. But what we're not going to do is keep me the fuck up. Because hmm. if you keep me up, anybody knows me, know I love my sleep. I don't hmm. play when it comes to my sleep. I get so upset when somebody interrupts it, stops me from doing it. I, I'm trying to work on that, but it, pit, it pissed me off. Well, let don't me touch my sleep. Let me tell you what happened with me while I was in. So once I got in there. You got a girlfriend? Hell no. Hell fucking no. Even though they probably clean these bitches, because that's the first thing we do in there is get tested. You gotta get tested when you locked up. <laughs> they don't play that shit. They do that at the detention center. Make you cough and all that. Mm -hmm. so you can, uh... See, they didn't do all of that to me that day. But I have had times when I got locked up and they was extra. Because they just thought I had something extra. So, when I got in there. Let me tell you the first part of this that was hilarious to me. First of all, I get in there. They do my fingerprints. You know what I'm saying? And then they was like. <laughs> ah ha. You want to sit up here and get locked up. Now you got to take your wig off and take a picture. Mind you, I had just, like, my dress just started locking up. But they was a pretty color and everything. I ain't do the ugly stage. Believe me, I went through. I'm talking about. <laughs> talking about. So I was like, oh, yeah. Took my joint off and shook them chumps. I was like, they cute, ain't they? And she was mad as shit. <laughs> she was mad as shit. I was like, yeah, I let go my little fun. Bow. I had to take my picture. Then I turned to the side one. Take my picture. Bow. And they put me in this jumpsuit that was like, this is the first time I ever had a jumpsuit like this. Now that I think about it, it was like paper. Like, you know, it's type of jumpsuit. Could you fit it? Yeah, I mean, no, not really. You know what I'm saying? See, they y'all people. If y'all gonna send short people to jail, at least have something for them to wear. Oh, yeah, that that thing was dragging. I knew it had to so be the, dragging. Oh, baby. Yeah, girl, when I got in there, so, bow. I was at a hotel at first. Bow. Little Spanish girl, she all uh, itching and crying and geeking. I'm like, what's wrong with her? So, I guess she probably was drugged out. She probably got caught prostituted. That's the way it looked. Your mm -hmm. makeup was all fraggly. Yeah, fraggly. Mm -hmm. And uh, they made me take my lip rings out too. And they was like, oh my God. And they make, I had just, and my, God is my witness. I had just got my eyebrow fixed. Oh pissed. my goodness. Did I not? Yeah. I got locked up like a couple of days after I got my eyebrows pissed. She got her eyebrow pierced before I got my eyebrow pierced. I wish that we had got it done the same day. That's another story that's another time. Story. <laughs> anyway, it made me take it out. So when I got out, that's the reason why I don't no longer have it. Because I had got locked up. But then again, it came on your favorite because you didn't learn to like it on that side. It's not that a girl on me. I just ain't like the fact that it was a nipple ring. He oh ran out of he ran out of regular uh, eyebrow rings, so he did it with a nipple ring. So it was all big. But anyway, <laughs> so then I looked to them this way, right? And this girl, she like bald headed, she like domish, you know, she like one of them skinny short little doms. Tito. Yeah, so looking at it. I'ma tell you exactly what happened. She was on the phone. Mm -hmm. Tito. So I go sit down. She get off the phone and she gonna tell me, Oh, um, you in my seat. I said, I said, young, the way I feel right now, you better get your bitch ass the fuck out of my face and I'm not playing. Period. And she got the fuck out of my face, and that was it. I actually caught a ride back with her too once we got out. She got out the Did same time I got her? out. What you mean? You know, I, yeah, yeah, I, know I was a little we, upset. We, earlier, we talked and all of that know. on the way home. She apologized and all of that. But oh, yeah. So the first thing I did was call uh, Chuck. And Chuck was scared as shit. He had to call my mama. He ain't know how to tell he, her, young. He tried to make me do it. He tried to make me do it. He was like, cuz oh. Cause old call mom. I said I ain't calling her to tell her that her motherfucking child in jail. Cause something happened where I was at where in the front mm -hmm. proximity of me. I ain't getting in trouble for you or her husband. It's till death do you part. You don't understand. So she kill you. My mother do not play about me, especially shit like that. He was scared. I was like, you gotta call my mama. We played rock paper scissors just to figure out who was gonna tell Andre. Uh, 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 uh. Like that's how bad it was. We was over like, like come on, Chuck, you can't keep trying. Thank God I had got locked up on a weekday. 
Because had it been a weekend, you'd have been in there till Monday, baby. I would have been sad. So I had to talk to the uh, what the what the hell is the name on commissioner? Come on, is it? No. I don't forgot the name of it, but I had to talk to them over there. But they gave me my court date. Bondsman. No, not a bondsman. Just a commissioner. I had to talk to the commissioner. The commissioner. And um, they gave me my court date. I left or whatever. Everything was smooth because I was like, at the end of the day, I'm good because I didn't really do nothing. You know what I'm saying? What they gonna get me for? Insubordination. Right. That's basically that all they gonna get me for. So when I get in court. Then I'm like, this nigga probably ain't even gonna show up. Like the charge was so damn stupid. But this, this, this Alabama. <laughs> I don't want to say what it really was. Yeah. Shit. But yeah, so I get in there. They got me for disturbing the peace, resisting arrest, and public intoxication, and subordination, and, and and some other charge. I was like. I ain't even do all that. My nigga turned around and was like, what the fuck? I said, this is some crazy shit, Mo. So he was so sad. He was like, man, I'm going to ask the judge if I could just go to jail for you and do the time for you. I was like, you know damn well you can't do that. Like, ain't that much love in the motherfucking world. Like, you can't do that. He do. Girl, he so then. You. So I'm like, all right. I'm like, he ain't going, he ain't here. I look, I seen the police officer wasn't there. It was all white cops. Mind you, remember, rewind. I told you, a black cop locked me up. All white cops. I was like, all right, I'm good. Do you know all five cops stood up when they called my name? All five of them. And neither one of them niggas was the one who locked me the fuck up. I said, this that? is crazy. But the judge was so tight with the cops, like... He cussed, he was cussing them out that whole day. So like, why are you being a bugaboo? So basically, what he did was, I had to go get a public defender. And I had to do community service. And mm. I did community service at a, uh, like a, um, damn, what time is it? It's like 1 o'clock in the morning, y'all, I'm getting tired. I did community service at a, uh, uh, a thrift store. I did community service at a, um, soup, at a soup event. And you know what they was paying? Forty dollars just to sit in there and try soups all day, and I was a bus boy, and I cleaned up the soups from the table. But I had unlimited taste test. Four dollars, forty dollars, forty dollars. Plus they paid twenty dollars just to get a, a ceramic bowl that a kid made. So the kid, so the kid could have made it of all types of which ways were fucked up, and they paid twenty dollars for it. So in the total, they spent sixty dollars just to be sitting in there eating bread and soup. Tripping. I would have really, really been really applying for that job. Like, <laughs> no, can y'all extend it? Like, it was an event. It was like an event. But they had me do that. They had me clean up. But I was able to, you know, try whatever soup I wanted to try. Like, they didn't care. So you was 18, so it's, did it go on your record or? Yeah. It did go on my record. It's, they, but they said it was going to take it all over when I turned 21 because I wasn't going to be in foster care anymore. So basically, it was like my foster care record. This was my first time ever being locked up as an adult. And I went to go get it expunged. I know you remember the day I went to go get it expunged. I we drove do. out the other side of Alabama. <laughs> or whatever. And you told uh, my dude, you was like, slow down because I know all the speed cameras right here. He ain't listening. Oh, yeah. He said, got flash. And I was like, yeah. oh, my God. I was like, I knew it. Because this Joe out of Alabama, they be pressed to try to catch a motherfucker up real quick. So I be like, you you got to watch these, these speed cameras. Because even though there's a speed camera there and they're supposed to mail you the ticket, no. They they sitting right under that speed camera somewhere in the cut, in this corner, under a leaf, in between the bush, <laughs> under the log. <laughs> waiting for you to make that jump go off so they can be like, I'm like... Y'all ain't got no donuts and coffee to intake. So I don't know. That shit crazy. So I went to get an expunge. Do you know that shit still follow me? Like, they keep on saying. It kept coming up. So I was like, what is going on? I got this expunged already. Shit pissed Right, me and on. you would think that a sponge would absorb all this shit, but it ain't. The sponge ain't absorb <laughs> nothing. That's what it is. You should have got Mr. Clean and got started. We ain't tell him. You, we did not tell him what happened. When my mama got there. My mother went all the way the fuck off on everything. I'm talking about 
my nigga. I'm talking about people in the house. I'm talking about the roaches and mouses. Even a dog in the yard got cussed the fuck out. She went off. Oh, I stayed in the basement <coughs> because I knew she wasn't going to come downstairs. I knew what to do. Once she finished spazzing out, then I came up. Huh, John? You okay? <laughs> Fuck no! All right, I'm going to give you five more minutes. I'll come back to <laughs> so, I won't do it. I'm yes. not getting caught up. No, like, one thing about her, you can do a lot to Aunt John, to her. You can do whatever you want you do. You think you can scam her. You can probably you can do whatever you want to do. Don't. Deal with her kids, her babies. Don't don't mess with them. Just Especially leave them alone. Just I am leave them alone. Baby. As far as cousin wives, nieces wives, I know this probably will piece of piss a lot of nieces off, but I'm me, the favorite. Ooh, you heard that no? I said it. You heard that Nikita? I said it. <laughs> I'm a favorite. She wants smoke. <laughs> Roll it up. So, anyways, that was the story about when we got arrested. That was just one of the times. The other one I'm gonna tell you. I want the other pitch, the other story I'm gonna tell you is gonna be a part two. I'm gonna tell you about when I did time, and that one I want to make sure I got all of my pictures, my documentation, clips, and all of that together before I tell you that one because that one. It's going to be a lit ass. And y'all not in the clear. I want to see at least 65 likes in order to squeeze this story up out of ISIS. If I don't see the 65 likes. Yeah. It can't be 200 views and then 12 likes. Like, no. Right. Cool. When y'all watch the video, like the video. Even if y'all not subscribed, like the video. There should be no reason why we have 214 views and only... 13 likes. It's no way. It don't add up. No See, way. that's what I'm saying. Y'all want this giveaway? Y'all want put this some giveaway? Y'all might, like I said, the super giveaway, that $50. Y'all got to put in work, period. I'm going to make y'all work for it. Point blank, period. Poo. And make sure you like. Comment. And subscribe to this channel. Okay. Make sure y'all running up them lights if you're new to the crew. Hey, if you've already been here, do your job. <laughs> Thank you. You have one job <laughs> compared to all the jobs and your we only have. job is to be a loyal best friend. That's it. We don't ask you for no money, like, no donations, none of that. Matter of fact, we want to give you some money. And we not even like up there with all the rest of the YouTubers and stuff. Like We is starting from the bottom and still showing you guys that we can give stuff away. Even hmm. with our little bit of changes and coinage that we do have. Just like I said in the baby food uh, video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go check that out. We don't care if we not popping yet. We going to do us anyway because we ain't got to be popping to be out here getting money. So when we do get up there and start popping, the true best friends, y'all ride with us. Only the strong will stand. The weak ones will fall. Bloop. Kerplunk. I like the lean and tower pizza, nigga. <laughs> that was you know, my tower. You know when black people get fucking sleepy when they start chewing like this and start joking and getting goofy as hell. Look, I'm already, I'm already goofy. Yes. Right, look at my dreads, y'all. Like, I don't ever show my dreads because they are, they are under construction for real, for real. But I need to, like, I'm just. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Anyways, you heard what I said. And make sure y'all share the video. And um, it's something important that I had to tell y'all. Oh God! Please don't make me remind me. Remind. Oh I'm my God! Way. I got an announcement, best friends. You won't believe this, but before I tell you, all I gotta say is "Ooh" when I lie. But Matilda is.